Hi, this is Al Wood, field crops agent for the Pasteur County Center of the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. Today, I will be sharing information with you about Fusarium Headblot, as well as a very useful resource, the Penn State Wheat Scout Risk Assessment Tool. In recent years, especially in Northeast North Carolina, Wheat Fusarium Headblot, also known as Wheat Scout, as seen here in this picture with the bleached heads, has become an economically important disease. In the most severe cases, wheat scab can make the grain unmarketable due to the unsafe level of toxins produced by the pathogen. In addition to selecting varieties with the best resistance currently available, which is moderately resistant, the other strategy that we can use is assessing the conditions that are conducive for its development and taking appropriate actions as needed. This assessment should be conducted at flowering for a given variety on a farm or field. A very useful tool to do this is the Penn State Head Scale Risk Assessment Tool found with the following link seen on the screen. Before we proceed into the assessment tool, let me point out some things about it. The model shows risk as low, medium, or high for wheat scab, for wheat flowering on the day shown on the calendar. Estimated risk is based on relative humidity in the 15 days prior to the day shown on this calendar. Now I will walk you through the process of accessing the website so that you can get the information you need. First, in your web browser, type in the link and click search as shown here. Next, it should take you to the site that you see on the screen. Just above the map and in the left corner is the name of the tool, Fusarium Risk Tool. To the right of it is a calendar that indicates the day your wheat is flowering, and to the right of the calendar is the scale indicating the risk of wheat scab from low to high. Next, in the top left corner inside the area of the map are three icons. One is a box with lines in it, which is the menu, and below it is a plus and minus sign for enlarging or minimizing the map. First, pull the map with your cursor so that North Carolina is in the middle of the screen. Now, using the maximize button, enlarge the map so that you can easily see the county you are in. Now let's enter our information. The date shown in the calendar will give you the results for wheat flowering on that date. Now double click on the menu box and this will bring up the other information needed. With the menu open, select winter wheat, since that's what we grow in North Carolina. Then select whether your wheat is susceptible, moderately susceptible, or moderately resistant. If you do not know what level of resistance your wheat varieties possess for wheat scab, you may be able to find it by using the following link seen on the screen. The last thing I will select is the counties which is done by clicking on the button and it will slide from left to right to show the county boundaries. Once you have made these selections, the results of the model based on your information is shown as seen on the screen. Use the risk color code scale so you can see what areas are at low, medium, or high risk for scab. Again, this information is for the wheat flowering on the date indicated on the calendar. For Pasteur County, we see that a susceptible variety flowering on April 13, 2020 will have a medium risk of scab in the lower end of the county indicated by the yellow areas. Once you have this information, you should be better equipped to make decisions about what action you take with regards to wheat scab. If, so, if a fungicide treatment is needed, make certain that you follow the label directions. If you have any questions about this or related information, please contact your local county extension center or if in Pasteur County, call me with the phone number shown on the screen. This is Al Wood with the Pasteur County Center of the North Carolina Cooperative Extension 
service.